Hey, hey, it's Mega here, shooting another Soron Light B video. Um, so I wanted to do a uh, kind of review on the Airhawk 2. Okay, so I bought this. I bought this Airhawk seat. A little, okay, so I'll tell you now, Hades Mega is not a big fan of the seat on the Soron Light B. It's like it was like one of the worst seats, like out of all my bikes. Okay, I'm not <laughs> gonna lie. I, I would rather sit on a stock DR650 seat than. Uh, than this seat for long periods of time. Uh, that being said, you know, it's not too bad. It's not too bad short distances, but once you start getting up into the miles, like 20, 30 miles, then your booty is going to be screaming in pain. So, um, so I did a video on the Speed Metal seat cover. That's the one right here. But now I'm going to do one on the Airhawk 2. So I bought this Airhawk 2 uh, for like 75 bucks, I think. I think it was around 75 bucks is how much I bought. I bought it used uh, a while ago because I wanted to try it out on uh, on this bike, the, the Victory Impulse. Um, and uh, so so I've actually tried this one, the Allen Air Seat, and I didn't like it. Um, yeah, it just didn't, it, this wasn't working for me. Now this one, so I can tell you now... Um, this the speed metal mesh seat cover is actually not too bad you know it's a little bit more comfortable than stock and you know it doesn't really get in the way all that much um, this one is made for a much wider seat as you can tell you can definitely tell it's not it doesn't fit the bike very well um, I actually use this on my KLR 650 um, but the KLR 650 has an aftermarket seat and it's like really wide so um, and I, I'm a, you know, honestly that's the ticket to getting a more comfortable seat you need a wider seat you know but in, and then it makes it harder to ride, you know, like when you're racing and stuff. And off road, it's a dirt bike. It's a dirt bike seat, okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm gonna talk about. I've I've been using the Airhawk for about two, two, three weeks now, almost I think, and uh, to do DoorDash deliveries. Um, that's why I have to be like on the seat like all the time, and I'm wearing like a backpack. Sometimes the food is kind of heavy, so um, I have I have to say the Airhawk seat is actually it actually works pretty well. It's the most uncomfortable, comfortable seat that I, I've i sat on. I'll tell you that now. Okay, was, I'm not a big fan of the Airhawk. Um, it's like you're sitting on a big like balloon is what it is. Or a balloon pillow um, is what kind of what it is. So you can see it has like different pockets in here. It's very similar. It's kind of like a, like a sleeping mattress. If you get one of those sleeping mattresses that has little cells in it, kind of like this. It's almost like this, but this is it's like a bigger version of this basically. You can see these little air pockets here. And you can you can adjust the amount of air. So if you go in here, this is actually just a seat cover. But this is what the seat this is what the air seat actually looks like underneath. It's like it's just like a bunch bunch of like pockets, little balloons and stuff. And this is how you deflate and inflate the air. Um, you just kinda uh, turn this counterclockwise or clockwise, you know. Just open it and close it, and then you just blow into it, and you can put air in it. So apparently this size is... It's an AH2 size, okay? I don't know. Um, it was made in 2014 also. And you can also take the cover off and clean it. That's a nice thing about this. Um, it's a nice. It has a nice seat cover. It has a nice seat cover for the seat cover, <laughs> is what I'm going to say. But yeah, yeah. So, so my ob observations uh, riding this guy is... a. Uh, like I said, it's the most uncomfortable, comfortable seat. It like works. You can sit on it longer, but it just it just doesn't feel comfortable. It's like you're sitting on a big balloon or something. Um, I can definitely ride longer distances with it, but it's just like it's not comfortable. Like it's it's like too big. You know, one thing, it's too big, and it never wants to stay in this in the right place. The way I got it attached right now is I have like some 550 cord pulling it right here underneath. And then this one is this one is just like it's it's strapped to the other side right there. So there, it's basically just straps going underneath. So like it moves all the time, and I have to adjust it properly. Um, but but yeah, it's not too bad. Um, 
it definitely it's definitely uh, it'll definitely get you more miles on the saddle before you get like saddle sore basically so so but like I said it's like you're you're sitting on like an airbed or something and you're just kind of you're kind of just floating around on it is what it feels like so I, I don't like that feeling you know but it actually works um, I actually used this on trip to LA on this bike and I did like a long stretch of freeway on the i5 just sitting down the whole time you know uh, riding like just ripping around by at like 70 miles an hour and uh, and I took the I put the seat cover on and then I and then like yeah it's the same it's the same sensation you know like oh yeah it's the most uncomfortable comfortable seat you know that I've sat on I was able to go like I don't know like I must have been going like I went probably 50 miles I think I did like 50 or maybe even like a hundred hundred miles on the freeway with this and um, and it was it was uh I wasn't getting any kind of monkey butt or anything. I, I could go for a long distance before it started to hurt, you know. But um, and then so I said, decided like, ah, you know what? I'm going to take it off, and then I'm going to try it again. And then so I hopped back on the i5, and sure enough, like yeah, my booty was like really sore, like in like like maybe like 40, 50 miles or something. It, it, it there, this this guy works, okay? Basically, that's what I'm going to say. It works. It keeps you from getting saddle sore, but it's just not. It's not comfortable, you know. That's what I'm gonna say. So that's my little review on it. Um, if I think if you're just uh, you know putting around town and you're gonna do long distances on the Suron, like uh, like 30, 40 miles on it, um, I think it's a it's a good it's a good um, seat cover. Uh, if you're gonna do some more kind of ar aggressive riding or short trips, though, I, I I don't really recommend it. Uh, it's not really that comfortable. I would go with this speed this mesh seat cover. This is a good kind of compromise, but but like I said, I have to do like long distances. Like I'm on the saddle for like two, two, three hours at a time. You know, well, not not like, but like it's like me out getting on, hopping on and off the bike. But but yeah, um, it works, but it's not comfortable. Is what I'm gonna say. All right, so that's like my quick uh, review of the Airhawk Two used on the Suron Light B. Um, yeah, if you need something to to be more comfortable on the light beat all day um, it works it works but it's not comfy and it makes your bike look ugly <laughs> it's like a, looks like you just stuffed the big pillow on there uh, yeah so until there's some kind of aftermarket seat for the Sauron light beat I think this is probably the best this you'll do that or make a get a custom seat made um, yeah so but uh, it's just the seats just too narrow the, but that's the good thing about this seat cover is it kind of makes your seat wider. It, it it makes it a lot bigger than than it really is. So so that's that that's what helps a lot. You know, uh, it actually makes your seat wider. You know. Um, also, you have to uh, play around with the air pressure. Uh, I have I typically I don't really like to have a lot of air pressure in there. I like to to kind of like sink in. But it's like that's the problem. It's like really it's really thick and it does sink in and there's not a lot of support for it because the seat's so narrow so I suggest you put a lot of air in it I I, I tried it with a little bit of air like I normally do and I, I didn't really like it that much and then and then like, like I said you were just you just kind of just sink into it um, but if you uh, if you if you put a lot of air pressure in it just like just put in as much as you can blow in there um, it's it's pretty good. Um, I, f I feel it's better with more air pressure than less air pressure, is what I'm going to say. Okay, so there you go. That's my, that's my review of the Airhawk 2 on the Suron Light B. Here's my go.